Now we're going to clean and inspect the regulator components. On this valve housing here, there's two O-rings, one on the outside and one on the inside. I'm going to remove those. Remember, poke only halfway through the O-ring. That's your O-ring. The O-ring is a one by four, one by 1.5. That O-ring I just removed, uh, it seals the body so it doesn't go out your trigger and it seals it from this side from blowing out. Clean this piece out. Remember, the O-ring sealing surface, gunk between the threads. Then we get another, man, it looks so clean already. Now, we need wipes to clean inside bore and o-ring groove. I'm actually inside the o-ring groove with the wiping, rotating it, make sure Get the whole pouring groove clean. It'd be dirty like that. You do it again until you get a clean wipe. Clean. Now, Kind of clean the inside bore where the rig adjustment screws slide in. It's for this two by one o ring, it's very delicate, and you want it clean in there, make the o ring last longer. Usually, I, uh, I put this on a lathe and spin this section here, make it, you know, kind of smooth and shiny because there's an o ring. When you slide this in the body, right, there's an O-ring that slides over this piece and seal it. Uh, it's inside the action in here. Right. After this is clean, we install the O-ring. Lightly lube. It is tricky to get it in there, but I could do a lot of stuff with this little Allen. I just grab one end, it tilts like that, you flip it over, let it sit on one side of the O-ring groove, and you grab the end of it that sticks out, the O-ring, and shove the rest of it in, right? And it's in. You just gotta verify it's in clear hole it's in there now we'll put the o-ring on the outside the reg body 7.166 by 1.78 1 and this part's ready to go now your reg adjustment screw This is a habit for me to check, make sure this little macro, I mean really, really small hole where the air comes in, in and out, it's really so small. You could easily, if you have a foreign matter in there, a piece of metal, a burr, and a piece of metal just comes off and it'll end up clogging that. What I do is uh, somehow the little brush here, it's kind of perfect size, it goes inside that bore. I just kind of run it through it, you know, all the way through to the, it's long enough to reach the other hole, the inlet part, and the outlet. 
Yeah. Just to make sure it is unclogged. Now we're going to remove this o ring. Again, it could be very difficult for you guys to remove these. But with this little teeny, teeny pick, you can get underneath it and lift it up. You could have this on a vise if you want, but you can see I have not that much difficulty in removing this. And also, I put this on a lathe and spin it and get all the little teeny four corners of both o-ring groove, there's no sharp. Because I run my finger in there, it's sharp. Right? I'll usually round that off on a lathe and this piece will come out shiny, clean. And the razor blade edges will be rounded off. In return, your o-ring will last longer. And make sure the threads are clean. All right. Just ready to go. Now, the easiest way for me to do this, I have a little chuck here. <laughs> you need this adjustment screw stationary to get this little O-ring on. All right, it's one uh, two by one, Dural 90. Lightly loop, lightly loop the adjustment screw. What I do is I put it in an angle and I grab both nails to pry it apart while pushing over the piece. First one goes on. Usually that's the easiest one. Now you have no o-ring groove to slide it in, so it's gonna be a little tougher to spread it. But if you get strong nails like I do, it's gonna slide them down. Inspect it, make sure you didn't rip it. Alright, she's ready to be installed. Ready. Now all your deliver washers, spring washers, whatever you call it, and your red piston. Really got to inspect this, guys. Can't really inspect it unless you clean the heck out of it. Okay. Uh, part you want to inspect is the shaft of the piston. Make sure if you improperly tighten this down with pressure applied you will kind of have a tendency to it'll, it'll flex and the springs will dig in and makes a, a serious gouge on there when that happens the spring cannot move freely and it will affect the output of the regulator all right if you see no gouges in there it's cool on that side now you have to look at the, uh, the end where actually the supply comes in in the middle between the two o-ring and comes out the little needle here and it'll come out. All right? It presses in there and cut off the supply. When the required rig pressure comes in from the back and pushes the shut off, well the piston is a shut off valve and cut off the inlet. That's how it regulates. Low pressure, high pressure. It opens and closes, open and closes. All right? Make sure sometime if this rig piston is bottomed out and you tighten this by accident and you could imprint the little point on the actual plastic of the Delron and most likely well, you'll have a creep and it won't seal you'll see it creep up now if I see a little indentation on there I'll just replace it and you'll get a new one there's a nice seat on there flush All right usually comes in with the o-ring already installed All right. Now, we're going to use the same spring washers. These guys, you got to definitely clean. 
Right. I should have cleaned this earlier, but. And there's 11 of them. Usually one of these uh, springs are like, uh, one's darker than the other. They usually go in the bottom, go in there first. And lightly lube it. Lube the shaft. You stick the black one down. All the rest are all like in pairs, one facing each other. You gotta make sure, double verify, they're facing each other and it comes in pairs. Slide them in. All right. There we go. We'll have this little tool here again, standby. If you do have a tool like this, some some uh, gunners requested uh, to make them sound like this, but don't lube the the last washer because when you put it in there, you don't want the washer to stick onto the piece, right? 